on everybody. Welcome back to another installment of Let's Draw Cartoons with Rick Starosky. Today we're going to draw an elephant. So let's grab our pencils. And the first thing we'll draw are two circles. Inside the circles let's make two little dots sort of at the bottom so we'll make the character look like it's looking down. Next we'll draw the edge of his trunk which is a curved line that comes in and then another curved line and then let's follow that curved line but get a little thicker as we get to the top. Right about this spot we're going to draw one of his tusks which is a bent triangle and let's do another one on the other side. Then we'll do another line that comes in and sort of like his chin. Above his eye we're going to draw a curved line and then a wider curved line that comes this way. On the edge of this we're going to draw his ear. So it's a big long fan like ear that kind of curls in. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll make a line that curls over and then it's kind of wiggly when it comes in towards his face. At the top of his ears let's draw a little edge line to give it a little definition. And then a couple of fanny lines kind of fans out. So the next thing we'll draw is we'll do his back because we're going to make this elephant standing up. So let's curve a line over and then bring another line in, but we're not going to connect these two lines, we're going to leave a space. And in that space we'll draw two parallel lines that come down and then a curved line that goes over like that. We'll do the same thing here, two, curved li two lines and then a curved line at the bottom. And then we'll draw three little toenails on each foot. On his side we'll draw one of his other legs, so two parallel lines with a curved line that comes over and three little toenails. And let's draw his tail, which is two lines that come down. And at the bottom it's like a feather duster, so it kind of fans out like that. We're going to do something silly with this elephant, so we're going to make two lines that go behind his nose and then, or his trunk, and then we're going to make another line that comes in and we're going to make it look like he's holding something. And we'll draw three little fingers, even though elephants don't have fingers, but they do in cartoons. So let's draw him holding an ice cream cone. Inside the ice cream cone, let's give it a little texture. Let's do these sideways hashtags. But instead of putting the ice cream on top of the cone, let's make it look like it fell and hit the floor. So it's a half circle with some wiggly squiggly lines at the bottom and then a few little ovals that made it look like the ice cream went splat. Now if you dropped your ice cream you'd be kind of sad so let's give him a couple of sad lines. And there you have it. We just drew an elephant who dropped his ice cream on the floor. Come back again. Make sure you check your email box for the next lesson of Let's Draw Cartoons with Rick. Or you can check out the archives on other lessons on how to draw lots more silly and fun characters. See you next time.